Hi everyone, this is David Nguyen from the College of William and & Mary and today I'm going to present to you uh, the application uh, called Storebench. So basically you can download this application on Google Play or also uh, at the uh, link below in the text. Uh, our application uh, tests uh, your f uh, the performance of your flash storage, SD card and applications. Uh, there is also the requirements that this has to be a rooted phone and you have to have the, the BusyBox uh, application installed and uh, with Android 3.0 or higher. So I'm going to start the test. So when you touch the run, can you see the run button now? Yeah. So when we touch the run button, the application uh, runs the benchmark and uh, the first flash benchmark uh, lasts about uh, 20 seconds so it tests the bandwidth and the response time and other uh, other uh, categories of uh, your flash storage and it gives the results so after uh, about 20 seconds you get the results we have the total rank uh, bandwidth uh, response time uh, flash and in each category, you have the ranking in the brand and a rank among all. Uh, we also have the rank, uh, the comparison of different smart, uh, uh, smartphones. So, for ex uh, for example, uh, LG E Nexus Four does best in the uh, in the uh, I/O performance of a flash. Then we have Samsung S Four, Sony Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, my device is doing number five. So uh, other devices, when you scroll down, you can also share uh, the, your results within Gmail, on Google+, Twitter, or Facebook. So let's go back, uh, back and let's go to the second task. So this one tests the performance of your SD card. So let's run again, and this will test your external SD card. So the test runs about 30 seconds and uh, your SD card will be uh, compared to all other ones uh, from our online da database. So let, let's wait for a second and we should get the results very soon, I hope, or I believe actually, yes. So uh, the store bench got the permission, all right and we are almost there just wait one more second yes okay so now we see the familiar screen with the total rank for the bandwidth so for example the sequ sequential read is 10,000 kilobytes per second uh, that is compared with other um, phones in the brand and this one ranks in, in particular 53 uh, from 56 um, submissions and uh, it also ranks among all phones. The categories, uh, when we take a look at other phones, the Samsung S4 does best, it's, it's the GT1, uh, then Samsung GT9100, uh, Samsung S, Nexus S, and my device, my device is uh, ranking number four. So now let's get back to the uh, to the home screen and let's test the applications so when so and let's hit the run button and so now you will see the crazy screen that will start launching 20 popular applications so it will launch an application and it will uh, execute 500 uh, events random events um, with the use of monkey program so now you see that uh, the second application that is running is uh, right now is is Angry Birds. Uh, then other eighteen applications will be uh, launched, and again um, measure we will measure the uh, we will measure the launch time and also the runtime delay, and that will be compared with uh, other phones in our database. So uh, if we could just um, either skip or wait. What do you think? Or we can just wait for a while. Alright, so now you see that 
we are launching the uh, Pandora player. Okay. And again, it does all those fancy things. This is Gmail. So there is uh, there is a uh, there is a note that uh, please be careful. Um, uh, it is not suggested to uh, to interrupt the process. Uh, so uh, don't worry about any uh, any uh, any warnings. Okay, all is controlled by uh, Storebench. Uh, if any application uh, during the uh, the task uh, gets uh, an error message or gets into a trouble, uh, Storebench should handle uh, should handle that and should kill the process. All right, so uh, just sit tight and uh, stay cool and enjoy the show. All right. So now you see uh, we are testing the Twitter. Shakira is tweeting. Temple Run uh, game. So, uh, so far we've seen uh, a lot of applications. Uh, basically, we try to choose applications from different domains. So, all 20 applications actually represent uh, four domains, uh, four, uh, four groups of applications. Uh, uh, so, those are games, uh, social, uh, social, app, uh, social network applications, uh, regular applications, uh, also, um, also um, streaming applications. So now we see, for example, uh, CNN. All right. So we now uh, see that uh, there's a storm coming. Okay. All right. So ABC News is is being launched right now. And again, 500 events are being triggered. You see that I am I myself am not doing anything. Uh, it's all triggered uh, by uh, our, man, our monkey tool, all right? Okay. So nightly news. I believe that this is uh, one of the uh, one of the last applications that uh, Storebench uh, is going to test. Okay, the last group, uh, I believe, is a group of uh, sensing applications. So basically, now we are almost at the end. We are almost at the end. So you see that the activities vary, right? So mm, they, they could be also uh, switching the applications. Uh, we are almost done. Okay, we should get the results uh, comparing comparing uh, the performance. All right, we are here. So now you can see, for example, the uh, for YouTube, you can see the launch delay is zero point eighty two seconds, and the runtime delay. 3.59 seconds, Angry Birds, when I scroll down, 0.87 seconds, 1.81 seconds is the runtime delay. Uh, Google Maps, Pandora, Gmail, uh, the launch time is 0.82 seconds and uh, uh, the runtime delay is 4.18 seconds. So now let's take a look at uh, the, the, uh, the ranking uh, of the devices. Samsung GT9505, uh, which is uh, the, the S4 model, uh, is ranked uh, number one. Then we have Sony, then my device, and uh, then Nexus 4, then HTC Evo, uh, Motorola, and Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So all, all is being ranked uh, by the uh, the sum of launch and runtime delay average over corresponding apps. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, please uh, take a look at our uh, storage uh, store bench uh, benchmarking tool. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.